Okay, so give give me some volume so I can hear what oh, this dude is saying. Oh, I think this is from what yeah. the bleep. You're talking it about, is. Right? Yeah, that's this is exactly. From what the bleep. Yeah. The double slit experiment. Right. On the back screen See? shows that yeah. intensity. This is similar to the line the marbles make. But when we add the second slit, something different happens. If the top of one wave meets the bottom of another wave, they cancel each other out. So now there is an interference pattern on the back wall. Places where the two tops meet are the highest intensity, the bright lines, and where they cancel, there is nothing. So. When we throw things, that is, matter, through two slits, we get this, two bands of hits. And with waves, we get an interference pattern of many bands. Good so far. Now, let's go quantum. <laughs> okay, now you're gonna freak out. Okay. <laughs> this, is where you, this is where you start getting mad. We're going quantum. Oh, okay. going quantum, I know tiny, tiny bit of matter. Ooh. Like a tiny marble. Let's fire a stream. You guys are already shaking slit. his head, folks. It's not a tiny marble. <laughs> really we gotta do a little bit of commentary on it. We can't just play the whole video. Right, right, Okay, right. I can do the con I know yeah. exactly what they're talking about. Okay. It's a very famous experiment. So, yeah, so if you have two slits that you let marbles go through, they get two slits in the receiving screen on the other side. Right. Whereas if you let a wave go through two slits, you get this interference pattern. Right. And so what happens when you let an electron go through? The answer is you get an interference pattern. It's more like a wave than a particle. But the real weird thing that they're going to get to eventually is if you have if you let an electron go through two slits, but you put little detectors on the slits, so you say which detect which slit did the electron go through? Then it always says it goes through one or the other. It never goes through both, and the interference pattern on the other side disappears. You only see the two lines that you would have seen if they were marble-like. So the point is, when you're not looking, the electron is acting like a wave, and when you look at it, the electron acts like a particle. Right. That is the lesson of the double slit experiment. Right. Why? Yep. <laughs> Why? Because when you put that detector on the slits, you interacted with the electron and you localized it. Right? There was no such thing as the position of the electron. There was no such thing as the answer to the question, did it go through one slit or the other? There was only a cloud. There was only a wave going through. But you affected it, or whatever the detector was, affected it when it looked through the slits to see, did it go through this one or this one? And that effect changed it from being going through both slits to being only going through one. And how does it affect it like that? Well, there's it's what it's what's called quantum entanglement. The detector becomes entangled with the electron, and this is where you get into what I my favorite version of quantum mechanics, which is the many worlds interpretation. The the right way to think about the electron was that cloud, that wave going through. That's the natural thing. The weird thing is that when you look at the different slits, you only see it go through one or the other, and it acts like a particle. So how do you explain that? So in other words. Our natural intuitive way of thinking about electrons is as particles, little marbles, and quantum mechanics says, no, 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 it's naturally a wave. The weird thing is when it acts like a particle. And if you're a many worlds person, what the answer you give is the following. When you look to see, did the electron go through one slit or the other, you or whatever video camera you had or whatever becomes entangled with the electron. And what that means is that the wave function of the whole universe, the wave function of both the electron, but also your camera and you and the stars and galaxies and so forth, splits in two. And there is now one branch of the wave function, which, which acts like its own separate world, which says the electron went through the left slit and your camera saw it go through the left slit and it made a little line on the other side. And there's another branch, which says the electron went through the right slit, and your camera saw it go through the right slit, and it makes a line on the other side. And so they're both still there, but the world's split in two, and now you're only in one of them. You don't see the whole world anymore. You managed to make it more confusing. Congratulations. <laughs> you, you screwed my head up even more. I, did that, I understand it less now. That's even more baffling. But the bit you understand is actually true. That's, that's the improvement. <laughs> well, it's a little. The illusion of understanding doesn't count. <laughs> oh, okay. So by not understanding, I understand more. Exactly. Ooh, there you go. Boy. Quantum you motto. have a weird job, dude. <laughs> I do. So,